Now our next concept is clocking and essentially there's two different ways that we can do clocking. We can do asynchronous clocking and we can do synchronous clocking. And digital systems make use of either one of these sort of systems. Now asynchronous circuits allow us to actually change the output of a circuit at any time. Essentially we don't have a clock. We've got some small amount of propagation delay and latches as we've just looked at previously are, the, are examples of this asynchronous circuit design. Um, we've also got synchronous circuit design and synchronous circuit design is where we have clocks or a master clock that everything is synchronized to and all those things will change at the same time. All the inputs will be um, clocked over to outputs and flip-flops are examples of this sort of synchronous design where at regular set time intervals all at the same time will clock these things over. Typically um, synchronous designs are much much easier to design with and much much easier to debug as well and tend to be the way we go for most of our designs. Now, one problem that we can deal with though particularly for fairly large systems is clock skew and essentially it's a timing problem where it becomes difficult for a large circuit to have the same clock precisely the same clock to down to a few nanoseconds um, reaching each part of the circuit or each um, flip-flop or whatever it is at the same time. Um, they'll all be, depending on the length of the wire or PCB trace used, arriving at slightly different times, very very close, but if one's arriving at a different time to another it may cause a flip-flop to go into an incorrect state. And so this is something that we need to deal with and we might have some you know, clock equalization or something that's a so, so here's one example where we've got some propagation delay uh, on going through the NAND gate and the NOT gate at the bottom there which causes our clock, uh, clock 2, to be slightly skewed with respect to clock 1. It might be in the order of 15 nanoseconds or uh, 20 nanoseconds or so, a fairly small amount. There's a few different ways that we can achieve this and one of them is making sure all our clocks are, are fairly evenly balanced in terms of the length of the wires and things like that to reduce clock skew. Uh, we can also slow down various clocks and, and put buffers in the way like a couple of inverters or a non-inverting buffer to slow down these clocks and use the propagation delay inherent with each of those uh, inverters or logic elements to slow one down to equalize um, the clocks with respect to each other.